What you say, ladies and gents, it is your boy, Bucket Hat Sam, and we are back in today for another video. Today's video, I'm going to be discussing and doing my match reaction for the cracker, I can't even say cracker, the absolute snore fest that was QPR versus Swansea. And I tell you now, what a dull game that was. Where do I start? It was honestly awful. QPR, a team that I've watched a lot this season, expansive football, great football, attacking prowess. They showed absolutely none of that tonight absolutely awful embarrassing against the Swansea side who dominated and deserved to win that game bearing in mind Swansea currently sat in 17th in the league QPR if they'd won tonight would have gone third and have been a point clear of Bournemouth and played the same amount of games these are the kind of chances if QPR are going to get promoted they have to get results from these kind of games they can't be getting nil nil draws and it wasn't just the fact that they drew nil nil it was the manner of the draw it, it might as well have been a defeat Two shots on target in that entire game, and one was right at the very end, and Lyndon Dykes should have scored. It was awful. There wasn't anything today. Watch it on that performance. You could you can't expect QPR to go up. It was awful. Absolutely awful. But don't take anything away from Swansea. Swansea played some really nice football. I thought the three at the back system worked so well. Uh Carl Norton, who'd have thought he'd convert so well into a centre back? Manning, you know, he's got one of a left foot. Great there. And Cabango, I thought the three of them looked so assured. They're passing it around really nice and they're building some really nice play and some really nice football. They had five shots on target in the entire game. Let me just double check. Yeah, five shots on target in the entire game. They really should have won this game. They had a lot of chances. I thought players, especially Matt Grimes, thought Matt Grimes controlled the game, absolutely dominated, was spraying the ball around like it was nothing, had a few chances himself. Piro as well could have got on the score sheet potentially, a couple of chances where... They just lack that final edge, but Swansea could climb up the table quite easily. Obviously, I said they're 17th in the league, but they could easily climb up the table. If they play like that, honestly, under, under Ryan Martin, they will easily, and I mean easily, climb up the table. Some really nice football, some really expansive football, controlled the game, dominated play, dominated the chances, and overall, as I said, deserved to win. There was only a few people I thought today can, can hold sorry can hold their heads up high for QPR. I thought David Marshall was class. He kept them in that game. He got them that point today on his own. I thought Sam Field was great. I thought that's it. I think Chris Willock actually had a good game. I thought he had moments where he'd go past his man, he'd beat his man, and then a couple of times he'd cut back in and try and beat his man again, or he'd look up and Charlie Austin just wasn't there. I think that was the problem. Luke Amos, I don't think, really did anything. He did have a chance where he hit the inside of the post and it bounced back. But yes, obviously, you could say it's unlucky that he missed that chance. But QPR just didn't look the side I was expecting. A side I've really enjoyed watching this season. That's why I was disappointed. Not only was it a nil-nil, it was a poor performance from them. And especially a side that we've seen in recent weeks have been dominating sides. They beat West Brom convincingly. You just want them, if they are going to push on and get promotion... You'd, you'd want them to be to go through the automatics because the playoffs can, as everyone knows, playoffs can be won by absolutely anyone. So don't get me wrong, that they're playing good football, but just not today. Today, they really, really struggled. And at home, especially, you'd think going into this game, they would have been, well, they were the favourites. You really expected a lot more from them. And I mean, a lot more. But Swansea, I'll tell you now, are a good side. Really, really good side. And you'd think when you looked at their form, unbeaten in the last three, they could easily climb up the table. When I was looking at the, the table after, they're only 13, uh, sorry, 12 points off uh, the playoffs. So all they need is a little bit of a run together. They could easily climb up to the playoffs. I don't think it's realistic, but that's the power of the championship. That's what the championship's all about. But if I was a QPR fan, I know they've still got the point, which is a good sign. I always think it's a good sign of a side. If they're playing poorly, but still getting points, that's, a, it, that, that's the characteristics of a promotion side. But, it was just the manner of the performance today. I don't think anyone can come out of it really, as, and as I said, and David Marshall and Sam Field, they, they can look at themselves and thought, you know what? I, I ran my arse off today, but the rest of the team, there was nothing, no fight. Yes, there was a little bit of that stuff with Flynn Downs and Charlie Austin, but I just thought, really, it, it was kind of pathetic, wasn't it, really? At the end of the game, there was no need for it. Flynn Downs got himself sent off when Swansea at that time, at that time, they were really, really battling and they were on top. And I thought they were going to go on and score because obviously Abafemi scored and that was given offside. It was offside, the right decision, but that's the problem for Swansea, I think. That conviction, a good striker would have held his run. That's it, really. But overall today, there's not much else to say. It was a pretty boring game. QPR were really poor. Swansea played well. Nil-nil. 
well fought draw for QPR, but just wasn't good enough. Simply wasn't good enough. Do you guys think QPR will get promoted if they play games like that? I'm not convinced. I know they sat fourth in the table, but wait and see. That was their game in hand on everyone. They really could have used that. Really needed to get that win today for them to to really push on for that promotion. But for me, I don't think they're going to get promoted. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you haven't already, smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. But thank you for watching, guys. Book out, Sam. Over and out. Thank you. Goodbye.